Last week on the Cow-Calf Corner, we spent a lot of time talking about the importance of body condition of cows and trying to shoot for a proper body condition at calving time next spring. Getting between now and next spring as efficiently as possible is very, very important to the bottom line of, of any cow herd. And part of that efficiency has got to be knowing what's in the hay that we're going to feed this winter. The differences in hay quality greatly affect the kind and the amount of supplement that we would be feeding to these cows to maintain them and perhaps in some cases gain a little body condition as they go through the winter. Take a look at this particular graphic as we've got three different qualities of grass hay fed to 1,100 pound beef cows in different stages of production and then match it up with the amount of a high protein supplement that they need to meet, meet their protein requirements depending upon the hay quality. If we have some real low quality grass hay that's only about 4% crude protein, you can see that a dry cow gestating at this time of the year needs about 2.2 pounds of that high protein supplement in order to meet her needs. But if she's getting a higher quality hay, such as a 6% crude protein hay, you can cut that in half and 1.1 pounds of a 40% crude protein supplement will take care of her needs. And if there's some real good grass hay, 8% or greater, then it itself will meet the protein needs of that dry cow. As we get into later gestation, closer to calving time, then her protein requirements go up just a little bit. And look at the difference again in the amount of supplement that we need. If we've got that real low protein hay, that 4% hay, it's going to take three pounds or more of that 40% crude protein supplement to meet her needs. Or if it's a little better hay, 6% crude protein, again, it's almost in half at 1.7 pounds per head per day. And again, that real high quality grass hay will meet her needs. Now that's just protein only. I think we should point out that as we get into more serious winter weather uh, and a little closer to calving, her energy requirements will go up as well. And we may have to change over to a lower protein supplement and go uh, in higher amounts. As we get into calving time and those requirements for that beef cow go up rather dramatically, then the quality of the hay really affects the amount of supplement that we're going to need and quite frankly uh, our wallet and the amount of expense that we're going to put into those cows. Take a look at the early lactation needs of the cows that are consuming real low quality uh, roughage, 4% crude protein, just to meet her protein needs. It's going to take 4.7 pounds of a 40% crude protein supplement as compared to 3.3 pounds if she's consuming higher quality 6% crude protein hay. Then when we get over to that uh, high quality hay, she still probably needs a little extra protein, one and a half pounds per head per day. But here, I really want to stress that this doesn't meet just the, uh, doesn't meet the energy needs of those cows. We would have to double this amount of supplement when we go to that lower protein, say a 20% uh, protein supplement, we'd have to have twice as many pounds per head per day to meet the energy needs of these cows after they calve. It's so important that we know what's in that hay that we're feeding this winter so that we can match the protein supplement up to the forage that those cows are eating and be able to get those cows through the winter as efficiently as possible and still meet our target of a body condition score five to six for adult cows at calving time. Just like the credit card commercial says, what's in your hay? Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner. <music>